I'm Sasha Earle, the Head of Volunteer Engagement at Wildlife Victoria. Thank you so much for expressing your interest in volunteering with us. Wildlife rescue is both demanding and also rewarding. In this short presentation, Mel from Volunteer Services is going to run you through what it means to join Wildlife Victoria, what's involved in rescue and transport, and then provide you with the next steps if you decide you'd like to register for training. You may get to the end of this presentation and find that rescue and transport maybe isn't the role for you. If that's your decision, then we certainly hope that you do stay in touch with us. I'm going to pop back at the end of Mel's presentation and provide you with a few suggestions on how you can do that. In the meantime, over to you, Mel. Wildlife Victoria is Victoria's largest statewide wildlife volunteer network. We're a non-profit organisation funded mostly by the generous support of the public and we've been operating for over 35 years. In 2022, we answered over 107,000 requests for help with over 77,000 native animals supported. So how do we support wildlife? Through operating our emergency response service 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and offering our traveling vet service, which supports wildlife carers and shelters. Let's take a closer look at the Emergency Response Service, or ERS. The process starts when a member of the public notices a sick, injured or displaced animal and contacts us by phone or through our website. Here's what a call sounds like. Wildlife Victoria, this is Steph speaking. Can I start with your name? Hi Steph, um, my name's Jenny. Hi Jenny, how are you? What animal can I help with? Um, I saw a, I think I saw a uh, kookaburra um, okay. on, yeah, on the ground. It didn't look like it could move um, and maybe its wing was a little bit, um, a little bit sprayed. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I um, ended up having to leave, um, but yeah, I, I'm not there at the moment. Yeah, um, that doesn't look well. Oh, the poor thing. What we'll do is we'll try to get a rescuer out there to assess it. Is there any other obvious injuries apart from the splayed wing that need to be mentioned? Not really. I just didn't see it fly. Um, yeah. It didn't look well. Okay. Just seeing there. No worries. And um, whereabouts is it? Um, so it's on the corner of St George's Road um, and the Kraken Avenue. Perfect. And what's that purpose at? Uh, I think it's technically Northcote. Yes. Awesome. So what I'll do is I'll send messages out to our local volunteers and if we can get someone, they'll contact you just to touch base if they need any more information or anything like that. Um, and we'll do our best to get a rescuer. We do rely on volunteers that so can't give you a time frame, but we'll do our best and um, we will speak to you soon. Awesome. Thanks so Thanks. much. So much. Cheers. If our operators believe a rescue or assessment is required, they put the call out to all available Wildlife Victoria volunteers within the area. The volunteer that accepts the case then attends the rescue and, if necessary, captures the animal and transports it to the vet nominated by the ERS. Rescuing involves assessing, capturing, containing and transporting native wildlife. The ERS puts the call out to rescue volunteers when an animal is reported injured or displaced, when a visual assessment is required to verify a member of the public's account, or when an animal is deceased and a pouch check is required to see whether its baby needs to be rescued. Rescuing is a good fit for you if you have appropriate fitness and mobility, you have access to a registered insured vehicle, you feel comfortable with the idea of handling wild native animals, and you're willing to be there for distressed, injured or sick animals. Wildlife rescue requires special training. Basic rescue and transport training equips you to attend small, containable animals like birds, lizards, turtles, possums, and occasionally echidnas. You'll not be called to rescues that require specialist training, such as roos and wallabies, wombats, koalas, bats, birds of prey, and sea-based wildlife. As you build your experience as a rescuer, you'll be offered opportunities to progress to specialist training. As a wildlife rescuer, you won't just be interacting with animals. You'll also interact with members of the public, either the person who called in the rescue or bystanders who happen to be at the scene. Your role is to help them all understand what to do in the best interest of the animals. 
Other people you'll encounter as part of rescue and transport include the owner operators of independent wildlife shelters who rehabilitate wildlife for release, as well as their volunteers and foster carers. You'll also regularly visit and get to know your local vets and their teams. If you're near Ngunnawading, Warrigal or Bendigo, you might meet Wildlife Victoria's travelling vets and vet nurses. Volunteering does take time and money. As a new volunteer, your costs will include basic rescue and transport training, rescue equipment, which you can purchase at training, fuel, and availability on at least one day every week. And of course, there's the time it takes to conduct rescues, transport animals, wait for animals at the vet or shelter, and clean your equipment ready for the next rescue. What you get in return is training from an experienced wildlife rescuer, support and on-the-job advice from our emergency response operators, connection with other rescuers in your area, health and wellbeing support from volunteer engagement when you need it, satisfaction of helping and protecting our native animals, and opportunities to grow and develop on your rescue journey, such as species and technical training. Wildlife rescue is very rewarding, and it can also be confronting. Every rescue case is a little bit different and from time to time you will encounter distressing scenes. The humane outcome for many injured animals is euthanasia. As a new volunteer, you'll not be asked to euthanise animals, but you will be transporting animals to vets for that purpose. Because this is a tough but rewarding role, it's important to look after yourself. You're joining a network of more than 1,000 volunteers responding across the state. As a Wildlife Victoria volunteer, we ask you to nominate the days you're available, set the distance you're prepared to travel, which you can change at any time, SMS stop when you need a break, SMS start when you're ready to rescue again, resist the urge to rescue on your days off, limit your activity to manage both your resources and your wellbeing, and to let us know when you're not feeling great. Thank you, Mel, and thank you for watching this presentation. Now you know something about rescue and transport volunteering, you may be raring to go, in which case we certainly hope that you register for the training of your choice. For those of you who've decided that rescue and transport volunteering is not the role for you, then please do return to the main page of our website, that's wildlifevictoria.org.au, and find a way that suits you to stay connected with us. You can choose to donate if that's a possibility for you. You can also choose to get involved in an advocacy campaign online, or maybe you feel like a shop in our online store. However you choose to stay connected to us, we really appreciate your support and we look forward to being in touch in the future. Take care.